World Indoor Championship, then log on to our website. You'll find us at www.bbc.co.uk forward slash bowls. Well worth a look. Now then, if you thought the finish between Ian Bond and David Gourlay was tense, you ain't seen nothing yet. We had a fantastic match here this morning between Jonathan Ross of Ireland and former world champion John Price. Well, Price won the first set 8-5 and Ross rallied in the second to level it to 9 all. We join it with Ross, the 13th seed, delivering his third bowl. And your commentators here are Adam Jeffrey and David Rhys-Jones. Great shot. That's a great shot. Jonathan Ross. It depends on how far away his shot ball is in the ditch. You were wondering, Adam, why he didn't play that earlier, but he's played it now, and look where he's finished. Oh, he's it's just still, oh, what, uh, four or five inches away from the jack in the ditch. And is it possible? I, I uh, don't let's think it is. At, yeah, let's have a look at it again. This is, this is how he did it. The forehand, the forehand smash here, picks the jack up full, and the bonus is he stays with it all the way into the ditch. And we're wondering, Adam, whether it's possible for John Price to draw the shot. Even if he draws to the edge of the ditch and overhanging, can he actually beat the, well, the bowl in the ditch? It's very hard to tell from, from up here, but uh, I, I wouldn't like to put my house on, on him drawing a shot here. <laughs> First of all, he's got to, got to do exactly what I said. He's got to draw this bowl overhanging the edge of the ditch. He's going through the form anyway. He's trying it. It's, it'll be a million to one chance. Looks like he's well down. Look at this shot. Oh, what a shot. Oh. It just didn't overhang the ditch, but that's it. I don't think he's got it. He's shaking his head. He says, have I done it? Well, that is a remarkable That's bowl. It really is. It's one of the best bowls of the tournament well, so far. It's a sensational <laughs> bowl. I've just lost my house and everything. <laughs> well, Jonathan Ross is uh, going back to play the last bowl at the end. So, in his opinion, John, John Price's measure. bowl is in with a chance. It's a measure for shot. This will be an interesting measure. Now, what is Jonathan Ross going to do? He's going to try well, he's and, got to try that, and I suppose. He's got to try and dislodge the ball, obviously, if it, if it is the shot. He's going for it. Not a million miles away. Oh, yes, he's got it. That's a, what a great end. Well, he's tight. got the eye of the needle there. Right a brilliant end of balls. I can't oh. remember seeing a better oh, one. Oh, oh, All the shots. All the, the sport the the demonstrated the there. So into the tie break, we're in the second end after Jonathan Ross took the first. John Price is bowling his final bowl at the end to stay in the match. <laughs> he wasn't far away, but he didn't get it. A famous victory for Jonathan Ross. It's an emotional moment for him. It really has been a wonderful exhibition. It's the young Irishman, 28 year old, Jonathan Rice, beats the number four seed. John Price, former world champion. John Price bites the dust, and it's the youngster goes through to the quarterfinals. Well, both of those players, and indeed you, if you happen to play the sport of bowls, will know that uh, a large proportion of the game comes from up there, not only knowing what's going on in your own mind, but trying to find out what's happening in your opponents. Well, our reporter Chris Hollins met up with David Corkill to find out what the tactics are all about, and Chris certainly put him through his paces. <laughs> A few puzzled faces and a few confused brains. It's a thinking person.